we've been using the word trauma a lot. How does that relate to the word or the experience of grief right now? And is is what we're experiencing right now, how much of it is grief and how much is trauma? And well, is there a, a difference in the way we approach those two things? Well, absolutely, because genuine grief is the very opposite of trauma. Yeah. If as if as children we could have grieved what was happening to us, really felt the sadness of not being loved, or the sadness of being hurt, grieved it, and and, and grief comes in waves and it, it recedes and it comes in and it goes out again, but it 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 abates over time. If we have consciously have grieved, we would not have developed all these coping mechanisms that not keep us in trouble. So trauma actually is the resistance to grief. Mm -hmm which incidentally, no child can be blamed for. It's just a natural reaction. Mm -hmm. So grieving, not in the sense of being hopelessly sad, that's different. Mm -hmm. Grieving is coming to terms with the loss. Yes, we've lost something. Yes, it's not gonna be the same. Yes, life will go on. You know, so, so, so grief really is the antidote to trauma in that certain, in that sense. Mm. Because grief is coming to terms with the reality. Trauma is uh, shows up in all our defenses against coming to terms with reality. Well, first of all, let's not assume that we've been traumatized. Yeah. So uh, trauma is not the same as suffering. Trauma yeah. is not the same as pain. Trauma is not the same as fear. Those are natural responses to, to events. Trauma is when we get stuck somehow around those events and their impact on us. So I dare say that I do see a lot of awareness in the world. The death of George Lloyd need, need, need not be traumatic. And the people that are out there marching and demonstrating and, 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 and taking action or supporting those who do, they will not be traumatized because they're responding to something very painful and very cruel and very unjust, almost unspeakable. But they're responding to it actively with a sense of agency. So that's the whole point. If you respond actively with a sense of agency, this will not have been traumatic. Now, if it triggers in us a deeply held sense of um, helplessness and a primordial sense of isolation then it can reinforce the trauma that already lives in us yes so i think the first thing to realize is is that we have agency or we can choose and that capacity while it may not be accessible to all of us at all times is available to all of us ultimately so the question is, how do we support our clients and our the people are relying on us? How do we support their capacity to choose? And that depends on how we cultivate our own capacity to choose. So when I train people in my compassionate inquiry method of, of, of therapy, which you guys have at programs about, it's all about the self first. How do we get in touch with, how do we inquire into ourselves? so that we can show up as um, active agents in our own lives when we deal with our clients.